Alrighty, so we're going to equip some of these skills because I didn't know I had this many skill points. Critical strike or... Uh, we'll go with this one. I mean, we're going to get both eventually. Well, never mind. Valor Surge. You have unlocked your first Valor Surge. Hold square to equip it. You have equipped the Valor Surge. Valor Surges are extremely powerful rare abilities that can instantly turn the tide of a fight. Build up your Valor Surge bar and unleash the ultimate power. Earn Valor through tactical gameplay, and when a segment of the Valor Surge bar is full, activate the Valor Surge by opening the weapon wheel and tapping R1. Unlock additional levels of a Valor Surge in the skill tree to add segments to the Valor Surge bar and gain extra effects. Okay. We'll see how that works. We're going to go and focus on the main story. Because it's been a while. It's been quite a while and my food... A food boost is already <laughs> almost gone. But, uh, yeah, we're gonna go see if I can find Erend. Where are you off to? Which pulls a chase down this, uh, machine. Oh, yeah, I can't spam my rolls. A trip wire. Hey, you! Make it worth your while if you kill these scroungers. That's always something. Hmm. Hold tight. I'll see what I can do. Try luring them into the trip wire. Okay. Uh, see if I can find any. This would do a lot of damage. Now I gotta make sure I don't get near these trip wires or trip them myself. Could just I'm throwing these rocks will distract an enemy. Okay. And now we hope he doesn't see me. Go investigate the rock. Here. Like All right, that worked. I don't know if that's how it was supposed to work, but it worked. All right, what if I throw another rock? Hmm. I don't trust my aim with this. Did he not care? Road over there. <laughs> I can't tell if he's like... All right, he doesn't care. So we'll just do this the easy way. You know what? If I kill them, they're dead. So it doesn't matter. Alright, it feels like my throws aren't going where I'm aiming. Like... <laughs> Never saw it coming. It's been made. That's the last one. <sighs> Hello, Red. What a day, what a day. Alright. 
make the forge you showed up. Tripwire's handy, but machine hunting's a youngin's game. Come on over. Let me give thanks proper like. I see you're a practiced hunter. Took you less time to kill those scroungers than vanguards to kill one bristleback. So the vanguards came through here? Yeah, just a bit ago. Took down that bristleback, headed south. But then those scroungers showed up to carve the carcass, as they do. Then another bristleback ran through. I'm telling you, it's crazy around here. So the vanguard went south? Probably. This whole valley is swarming with them. The vanguard seemed dead set on getting rid of them. I see. Hold on there, Red. If you're gonna go chasing across the dawn, you're gonna want a tripcaster. Not just any tripcaster. One of my make, free of charge. Workmanship looks solid enough. Yep. I've been tweaking the design since I left Chain Scrape. More room to tinker out here and less chance of, well, accidents. Uh, what kind of accidents? Did something happen in Chain Scrape? <laughs> well, like someone. Let me guess. Elvind. <laughs> Back when I had a place in town, he took a real interest in my wares. Kept pressing for the Ulven discount. I said no. He didn't like that so much. I can't prove it, but that chuff bucket set my workshop on fire. Felt it best to put some distance between us after that. Okay. Cable car operator told me the bristlebacks just appeared yesterday. Do you know anything about them? How is old Karn? Back in the day, me and him got into all sorts of trouble. There was this one time that... Anything about the bristlebacks? No. Karn said true. I just showed up and ran amok. Lucky for me, I've got you and the Vanguard swooping in time to time to save my backside. I should get going. Thanks for the tripcaster. While you're blasting bristlebacks, I think I'll head down to the hunting grounds. Did you know they have a tripcaster trial? Come by later if you want to try it out. Maybe. After I get things under control. So errand headed south. Should be able to pick up his tracks with my focus. Tripcasters allow you to place various types of tripwires. Press or tap R2 while aiming to set up the first anchor point, then aim and fire again to place the second. There is a limit to how many tripwires can be placed at once. Be careful not to run into your own tripwires. Oh, well, great! <laughs> you know that's going to happen if I ever use it. Enemies that triggered the tripwire will receive shock damage as well as shock buildup indicated by an icon above them. When the buildup icon is full, enemies will become shocked for a limited time. Enemies cannot move in the shocked state and are vulnerable to critical strike melee attacks. Use the focus to scan enemies and see if they are strong or weak against shock attacks. Alright, well, I don't think I'm going to be using trip caster that much I didn't use it that much in the first game it's just because yeah, I don't know it's just too much planning to actually use it I don't really plan things out I'm not very tactical So, what do we have to do? We have to search for his tracks. Okay. Man, that was very close. I almost ran right into that. Hopefully it's not an insta-kill. Can I pick this up? I don't want to run past it. Relic ruins. Hmm. 
Alright, so, you know, one of the old follow the tracks and see how far it takes you. Not the most interesting thing. What about this? This looks suspicious. Dude, they just walk through it. Sounds like someone's putting up a fight. Oh, there he is. Another one down. Now this, this is what I was forged for. No ledgers to fill. No boring mid-afternoon patrols. Just a hammer. Just the fight. Aloy? Errand. So they're weak against shock, so that's good. Maybe, maybe this would be a good time to use this thing. Those bristlebacks have acid canisters on their back. It should trigger a chain reaction if I hit them with acid arrows. Yeah, that that could work too. Is he just gonna die or no I gotta actually kill him myself okay get this thing off my screen that is definitely a big issue for me whenever I level up there's a thing that appears in the middle of my screen it's like hey you earned this uh, health upgrade and all this stuff and it's like okay great can you tell me after the fight <laughs> can you put it off to the corner somewhere I don't need it right where I'm aiming like oh man it's like one complaint I have about this game and I don't know if there's a way to like mess with that I don't know if there's like a setting that I can turn off, like... Uh, I don't know. Well, let's go talk to Erend. Uh, <laughs> Caught me at my best, as usual. Well, you did the hard part. I just took care of the stragglers. How bad is it? Uh, this? Ah, who needs ribs, huh? <laughs> oh. oh, I'm good, I'm good. Huh. Okay, well, I, I know you didn't come all the way to the Daunt just to watch me get wrecked. So what's the story? I need the embassy to happen. So I can head west. Erend, what I did at the Spire... What we did... It didn't end the threat. It just slowed it down. There's still more to do. Really? Well, that's great. I mean, yeah, not the threat's not over part. That's not so great. But, but hey, what, whatever you're up against, your spear, my hammer, just like old times. Aaron, I need the embassy now. I can't wait for you to heal. A couple of days rest, if that. Actually, even if you weren't hurt, what I have to do, it's... It's better if I do it alone. Alone. <laughs> now that figures. Erend! I hate to interrupt the romance, 
but I'm pretty banged up here. I don't blow your blaze. I'm coming. Oh, this just keeps getting better. Huh. Listen, I'll go to Baron Light, get patched up. If you want this embassy to happen, we're gonna need this sun priest, Studius Wadis. Oh, I know him. I'll clear the Valley of Bristlebacks, then send Wadis to Baron Light. I'll catch up with you there. Well, I guess that's sort of like a goodbye. I'm sorry? You? Sorry? <laughs> Yeah, that'd be a first. Where is this coming from? Hey, just, you know, forget it, yeah. Oh, it's nothing. It sounds like something. All right, fine. Now, after the battle at the Spire, when you, you took off, you left without so much as a handshake. I mean, people like me, we fought and bled at your side, Aloy. You just, or you just disappear? What kind of person does that? Uh All right. Um I'm not going to go with the the brain one. I know in the last game it, it feels like talking to Erend with uh you know just straight up no nonsense type thing. Uh, seems like that works better, but I don't know. It does seem like a lot of people are upset with Aloy for just, you know, leaving, <laughs> leaving without saying anything. Um, but I mean, I feel like that might just be part of. Aloy's, like, outcast upbringing. <laughs> or it could be she just doesn't want to deal with those types of emotions. I don't know. Hmm. Maybe this would be a good spot to, like, test how this thing is going to work in this game. Because... I know I'm developing the personality for Aloy here, with these options. But I'm not sure if, like, the personality, personality, uh, refers to, like, Aloy's overall personality in the game, or if it's just her personality with each character. So, I don't know. Erin, look. I'm sorry it wasn't easy for you when I left. And I know it's not easy now, but... What I've been doing... Life on Earth is in danger. And only I can save it. Your life on Earth? Everything dies, unless I succeed. Well, then let me help. Oh. You can't. There's no machine to fight, no bad guy to kill. What I've got to do, I... I can't even explain it. Not even to people I care about. Oh, so much for being useful. Okay. Errand! By the forge. I guess that's my cue. Wait. Maybe I should go with you to Baron Light. <laughs> no, no, hey, you're needed elsewhere. Obviously. We'll make it without you. All right, well, I can't really tell there. Most of the bristlebacks. Shane's scraping it back to work now. I'll go give Olvent the good news. Vladis, too. Then maybe this embassy can finally happen. Okay. Well, I, it's hard to tell if he was pleased with that. Um, maybe not. But the camera angle that was supposed to be looking at this guy <laughs> was way down here, and it was just behind the carcass of this machine here. 
like, is she just gonna stand like, there all wait, day? That doesn't Don't look right. Your down, just go. Yeah, okay. Um Yeah, unfortunately Aaron is pretty upset with us. And it's understandable. And I can't blame him. Like he said, he he bled and fought with her, along with many other people, to save the world. And and then she's just gone. Man, can't really fast travel. I need to figure out how to get fast travel packs. Hmm. L1 tapping R1. Oh. I'm gonna have to mess around with that, see what it actually does, because it didn't seem to help that much. Okay. All my like melee hits are just missing. Oh. Wrong arrow. just forgot about me. <sighs> These enemies are so annoying because of their like little taser that they use. <laughs> So it's like, they pounce at you, which I can dodge, but then they also have this little... From the old world. I could find something interesting inside. Okay. New Relic Ruin, the Daunt. I guess we could check this out. We'll see. Also, it sounds like somebody's getting their butt kicked. Could take off its power cell. Stop it from shooting back. Glad I can help. Is that it? They're just gonna run away. <laughs> I guess so. Anyway, um. Those enemies are annoying because they'll... You had your chance, pig. Or boar. Anyway. Um, so those enemies will pounce on me. Which I can dodge, but then they have a follow-up, like, taser thing. I could probably use this. You know, they... They, like, shock the air in front of them. And unfortunately, that hurts me. We'll get you out. Don't worry. There's somebody else to help. Mighty thankful to you, Savior. Just Aloy is fine. Aaron mentioned you're not one for fancy titles. You're Vanguard. Well, here to escort Wadis the delicate behind to the embassy. If. We can get rid of these bristlebacks. Captain said to keep an eye on Chainscrape, then these ugly lugs showed up. 
Gave the first one a good beating. But didn't quite have time to roll out of the way when it fell. Told you it wasn't a good idea to eat that much before heading out. I should probably get going. Now, if you see any more of these bristlebacks... I'll make sure to roll out of their way. Might want to take some of these with you as well. They're handy in a pinch. Thanks. Stay safe, Aloy. Recipe discovered smoke bomb. Deploy smoke bombs to confuse nearby enemies and escape back into the stealth. <clears throat> smoke bombs can also be used underwater. Huh, okay. We'll see about that. I'll probably forget about them, just like everything else in this game. Well, looks like there's a door on the other side. Um, and it, I think I can move this, yeah. So, I saw something over here. Aloy, I need you to grab this thing here. There we go. Looks like this door needs some kind of key module. Maybe there's one in the ruin? Alright, so now I gotta find a key. Can I make this jump? We'll see. <laughs> Barely. And of course I'm too far away from that. There's something there. Can I grab this? The crate. That should be useful. It's not moving. It must be stuck. I might be able to just pull it down from here. Got some data here. There's a code for the locked door in this data. Huh. Well, I guess that's the key. I was looking for like a physical key that you would like. I don't know, maybe a card you would scan, or, you know, an actual key to unlock- no. It's- uh, it's a code. Dear customer name, thank you for staying with the lodge at Zion. With your reservation, you have opted for a red permit parking pass. To ensure the safety and security that our accommodations are renowned for- renowned? I think that's how you pronounce it. I don't know. It looks like renowned, but it's... I'm pretty sure it's renowned. Uh, the access gate for your for guest vehicles is protected by a personally generated code. For your convenience, this code grants entry both your room and your parking space. Entry... I think it's supposed to say entry to both your room and your parking space. Your red permit code... At hashtag... Ampersand? Uh, exclamation point? I think. Code is confidential, so please refrain from sharing it with anyone during your stay. Hear that? Keep it a secret! We look forward to seeing you. Have a safe and pleasant journey. Lodge its eye and crew. Mr. Brace, sorry for the inconvenience, but our parking system software hasn't worked properly for some time to access the lot. Just use the code 1705. Embarrassing to admit, but we're actually unable to change it. Thanks for your understanding. Okay, 1705. A lot easier to remember. To key module. A lot easier to remember that. Oh! I almost died. It's fine. Uh, is there anything else around here? Oh yeah, there's that. Well, actually, I could... Man, I'm gonna have to... Just, need to create some distance first. I'm gonna have to use this so much. Hopefully I'll just get used to using it. <laughs> I won't really have to think about it. Oh, really? You could totally grab this ledge. There we go. Ow. 
I don't know if I'm supposed to go in here like that. I don't know, that seems kind of wonky, but hey. Take another look around. I don't know what a key module is. Hang on a second. this thing mm-hmm okay that okay. works gotta find a key for the door all right That uh, took a little bit too long to figure it out. Probably pull this wall down. Alright. Hopefully that wasn't a load-bearing wall. Now where... Where do I go from here? There's... I'm going to assume that I need this. But it's probably not going to make it through. Oh, it does. Wait a minute. What the hell's down here? There's more of the ruin down here. Where to now? Okay. Is that it? I'm look around, make sure there's nothing for me to, like, pull. I might have to take this down here. But then again, maybe not. Because it's kind of weird that this was just here. Oh, wait. Oh. I can't reach the ledge above now. Guess I'll have to find another way up. Well, that's what the box is for. I hope I can get this box down there. Actually, you know, I don't know if... Yeah, okay. Because if I put that box down here, then I'm kind of SOL. I mean, look, it would have to be something that to do with this because I was on the right track just having a break and it looks like if I had a box here then I could maybe jump up here but I can't really get the box down here and then this path down here is weird oh wait a minute I mean, look, <laughs> I'm not usually thinking to look on the ceiling for things, but now I should be able to push the box down here, right? Do this. And then we just move it. Move it over here, and hopefully this will lead us to victory, finally. See? Okay. Now where to 
does this lead? Alright, probably over here. We're gonna pull ourselves up. Grab this. Do we have anything else? We'll probably just have to jump onto this thing here. The key module. Alright, so we have the key module, now we just have to get over to this thing. And, okay, good. I was hoping that there was still a box here. I couldn't remember. Okay, let's see if this key fits. There. Um, looks like this needs a code, too. I think some of the data I picked up might help. Do I have to enter it myself? Of course I do. So I'm pretty sure it was... 1705. I'm in. Look at that. My memory still works sometimes. What is this thing? I'll hold on to it for now. All right, let's get this started. First stop on the Screw You Kyle tour. <laughs> Guess what? Wait, hang on. First stop on the Screw You Kyle tour. Guess what, Kyle? That big flash demonstration on the big casino exact you wouldn't shut up about? Not gonna happen, but you know what it is? Road trip, baby. Good luck following our dust trail, dick nose. Golden toucans out, Tom. Yeah, I want to do with it later. <laughs> okay. Uh, we got that too. And I think that's it. Alright. We have skill point. Holy crap, we have four skill points. Can we upgrade the warrior more? Greater chance of line crit critical hits and increased critical damage. I could try upgrading that. I could go with this. Oh, wait a minute. Jump off an enemy to quickly rep reposition yourself and create distance. Shooting your target with an arrow immediately after a jump off deals extra damage. R1 and then hold R2. Hmm, that sounds pretty cool. I kind of want that. I'm probably going to focus on the warrior thing for now, because I just, I like melee combat. This is a weapon technique and can be recognized by its pentagonal shape. Skills in this category unlock a powerful new attack for all weapons in their class. Weapon techniques use up weapon stamina, which regenerates over time. Melee detonator. Huh. Interesting. First fire, spread shot. Okay. Well, I think I will focus on this. Go with this. And I'm out of points. So I could go with power attack plus or resonator damage. I think we'll go with power attack. And we go down here. Look at all this stuff because these things annoy me. Seriously, felt like there was almost some kind of ornament. Alright, I don't know what I'm going to do with that, but we'll see. Find the origins of the ornament. 
Uh, okay. I don't know what to do with that, so we'll go over here. And here's Aaron's biography thing. There's something in my notebook, but I don't know where it is, and I'm too lazy to figure it out. So let's keep making our way back to uh, the thing. Time to get Olven to blow the whistle, then Wadis to Baronite. All right. Still here, I see. You and Karn, uh... All right, I guess we're just doing this. I cleared out all the bristlebacks. Oh, you did? Now that you've recovered from your shock, time to blow the whistle. Oh, there, not so fast. I'll have to send someone out to confirm the kills. Make sure the valley is safe again. It shouldn't take more than a day or two. No, you blow the whistle now. These are innocent Osram lives we're talking about here. Surely the delay- Either you do it now or I will. Ah, I knew you could do it. Friends, gather around. Jesus. Huh? The savior of Meridian has done now it again. What? The bristlebacks are defeated. Uh, you. What? Sound the whistle. Chain scrape is open for business. Terrific. Great. Yay. And Olvind has agreed to personally pay every worker their lost wages. Yeah. That's where I like it. Yeah. Woo. Ha <laughs> ha. Yeah. Yeah. Don't you have an embassy to get to? Yeah, I guess I do. <laughs> All right. Merchants are now available. You can purchase new equipment, restock your resources, and sell unneeded items at merchants. Items in the valuables to sell category are always safe to sell. There are many types of merchants. Stitchers sell like outfits. Hunters sell the weapons. Herbalists sell potions and cooks sell food. Other merchants have their own unique stock. Visit a new merchant whenever you encounter one. Well, the chain scrapes back to work. Merchants should be open to trade. I should see if they have anything useful before I send Wadis off to Baron Light. I agree. Uh, I should I should go to a workbench at as well. God, can't speak. <laughs> 